All right, so in this tutorial, we're going to make our 3D sketches. So we've already got our 2D sketches with all our, our points um, and, and planes. And in some cases, we do have curves in there already or lines from our sketches. And they're good for the roll hoops, um, but we need to now connect our our 2D sketches into a 3D shape. So to do that, we're going to use the datum tab here. I'm going to click on that and use the datum curve tool. And then all you do is select your points. And when you do it, you so I selected the first one, then I held control and selected the second one. Then there's a little option up here, use a straight line or use a, a spline. If you want to do curved frame members, then you need to use the spline option. If you want to use straight frame members, you need to use the straight line option. So when, what we want to do is use straight members. So for us, we need to use, uh, make sure you tick this option. There is probably a config option somewhere to make it default to that. And you could definitely create, at the very least, a keyboard shortcut for this tool, probably a mouse shortcut. Um, either would be worth doing, because as you can see, it will, uh, become a, a little bit annoying but you can save yourself time by creating some uh, intelligent sort of uh, pathways I suppose <clears throat> and so now to put in more we have to go back to datum curve uh, and there you see so I've selected the wrong I forgot to change it over to straight lines. You can select the points first uh, and then go datum curve and just middle mouse click to be finished with the tool like you would any other um, Creo tool. So here I'm going to put down curve, control, change it over. Make sure that you're selecting the right points, right sides of the plane, etc. What the chassis. Alright, so that's roughly uh, what we have for EV2, I think. Maybe there's that last one. Alright, now we'll just do the other side. this one For the purpose of the video it doesn't really matter if they're the same but all right so I'm going to turn off all the planes because it makes it easier to see <coughs> and I just missed that one to there all right now we'll put in the remaining curves side impact Remember, and as I said, if I haven't done it to how the chassis was, that'll be fine for this video. But uh, suddenly you get a 
thing that actually looks like a real chassis. All right. All right, so that's all for that video. Uh, in the next video, we'll put some framework members on here and uh, we'll also notch uh, some of them.